Yes, our coverage of the 2016 election continues with this morning Leslie Hansen, who's a 61-year-old dentist who's lived in Peel for over 35 years. He's single. He stood in two previous elections but failed to win. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for joining us. Uh, most of my colleagues start a conversation with you by punning on your profession. I shall resist that. But you say the present administration are incapable of balancing the books, not asset stripping, just to cover their own incompetence. You would balance the books, presumably. How would you do it? Well, basically, getting rid of waste. Um, the things that are going on are just unbelievable. I'll just give you one example. You have Westlands in Peel, that is the, the flats with their own front door, and they're going to demolish the whole complex. It's perfectly viable, and it's going to cost over a million pounds to demolish and rebuild it. And they're one-bedroom flats, and they're saying the reason they, they're coming to demolish it is because the flats now are too small for the latest regulations. Does it take a genius to knock a door through from one flat to another flat and make two flats into one? So that's an example, you say, Just of things one that egg. have It's gone absolutely wrong. rife, the waste. Just talk about your political experience. You haven't been on the commission. Um, Commissioners, so, no. So what is your political experience? Basically, um, being a dentist in Peel and talking to all my patients and people around Peel. Is that for sufficient to base a career to be an MHK on? Well, I think the first thing about an MHK is you've got to be informed because you can't make a, any valid uh, opinion unless it's informed. You've also got to persuade people to follow your point of view, etc. You've got to be able to use argument. Do you feel you can do that? I think it's not a question of uh, people following my point of view. It's me, um, uh, what do you call it, um, saying and um, voicing the people's point of view. So you feel you problems. speak to the, you speak, you feel you're well, passing the people's views well, on? Well, put it like this, on going around and talking to people, there's one, and two, one or two things that keep coming up. People pay taxes. The first thing they want is proper services. That's when they ring up to see a doctor, they want to see a doctor, not wait 10 days. They want, when they go to a hospital, they want to actually see somebody. Now, the point is, this is not happening. And one of my, prior, my, priority, one, one of my policies is, all government spending priority goes to services first, and what's over after they, at a proper standard, can go to other things. Peel and Glenfebber, is that likely to be a constituency of two MHKs, town and country? I don't think so, because an awful lot of people who live in the country, I say Glenfarber and Peel, actually work in Douglas. Mm. I mean, when I first went to Peel, if I drove through from Douglas to work in the morning in Peel, I'd see three cars coming the other way. Now it's a convoy. But you feel you have contact with people in Glenfarber as well as people in Peel? Oh, yes, because being a, a, I was the only dentist in the West for a good number of years. Um, most of my patients were coming from that area, so I knew them for the last 30-odd years. You don't like the idea of iris, or mini-irises, as you call them, but uh, how would you solve Peel's problems? The whole thing has to be reviewed. Unfortunately, um, late, the latest information, there is a certain type of infection which uh, treatment plants do not does not kill. Not only that, there's question marks where they actually incubate it. It is uh, fatal in 30% of the cases. We now have to look at the whole thing. But one of the things I would say, and I did say five years ago, and that it well, not five years ago, last, last election, the pipe should go out as far as possible. But I think now the whole thing should be reviewed. And putting sewage out in a bathing area, I think now, after this latest information, uh, should be questioned. I just finished with, you were asked, would you like to be Chief Minister? And you said, the future is there. I don't rule anything out. That's <laughs> confidence after no political well, experience. In, in, uh, in politics, as, as you don't rule anything. I never say never. So you, you feel that you are up to the job, perhaps even of being, well, a minister, perhaps even of being Chief Minister? I'm up to a lot of jobs that I can do. Um, I have been involved in politics elsewhere writing certain reports for certain political parties. Politics with a small p. I mean, you haven't been involved in, obviously, mainstream politics. Um, I've, been, I've been involved with um, UKIP in the UK as much as writing some policies for them because they were just asked just out of interest.